Hi everyone, Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. We are the family store here. Come give us a try. You will love working with us whether you're local or out of state. Give us a try. You'll love our deals. You will love the inventory. Speaking of inventory, this is the very first 2020 Toyota Tundra that we've gotten in. I'm going to show you some changes on the Tundra Limited versus the 2019 Tundra Limited. There are a few of them. Some of them are really good. You're going to like them. Let's compare. This comparison isn't necessarily apples to apples. They both have TRD off-road package, but this one's been upgraded, the 2020 with 20 inch gloss black gunner alloys with the Nitto grappler tires on it for a more high performance off-roading type experience. These are both limited. The 19, just like the 20, is gonna have chrome accents all around, including the grill, has Toyota Safety Sense pedestrian on it, has LED headlights, daytime running lights, and also LED fog lights as well. And with that Toyota Safety Sense, you'll get pedestrian detection during the daytime, pre-collision system, automatic high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, and lane departure alert. We're gonna switch these around for dramatic effect here. Follow the shell, follow the shell, where's the ball? Now, the 19, you can start it with the traditional key. The 2020, for the first time, has smart key, auto open, so you can push button start it, and then you can also walk up to the door right here and beep beep, automatically unlock it. With this one here, you use the traditional key, which is fine, it's just, this is really cool technology. It's convenient and also safer too. This is the profile of the 19 here. It has the off-road package, so it does have the upgraded off-road wheels on it. But I wanna show you the door handles. That's one thing. It's all chrome here. And then let's switch over to the opposite profile of 2020. Again, this has the gunner alloys on it, so it totally gives it a different look, but it's all I got to work with here. And then you can see the door handles. It's a combination of color keyed, but also chrome. I really like the 2020. It looks very classy. The back tailgate, this one has black tailgate insert added to it, and also the black chrome exhaust tip added to it. Those are accessories, not standard. It has a backup camera. The towing capacity is 8,800 pounds. It has the four and seven pin connectors. Now this one here has deck rail system on it so that you can put cleats down. You can also tie things down in the front and all four corners really so that you can haul your various cargo without it flying out or rolling around. And then here's the 2019. This is what the exhaust tip would look like if you didn't add the black exhaust tip. So maybe that's an accessory you'd like to add at the dealership level. We do it all the time. This is without the tailgate insert in it, the black. And then this one has a bed liner that was added to it as well. So that's what you can do with spray and liner. This is a perfect example of why the smart key might be nice because now I have to feel for my keys and now I can open the doors. With the smart key, you can just put your hand on the door handle and it automatically unlocks. I didn't have to reach for my keys. So anybody who doesn't necessarily like that push button smart key technology, that is one of the benefits. Imagine that you're a single person or coming out into a dark parking lot by yourself. You don't have to fumble in your pants pocket or your purse for keys. You just literally put your hand on the handle, boom, it unlocks it, you get in nice and easy. One advantage to getting a Crew Max is all the leg room, the head room, look at that room. I've stayed in hotels smaller than this. So much room, great visibility. This is the 2019. It'll have the same space as the 2020, but I want to show you some differences here. Look at that visibility out the front. It's great. Huge windshield. Okay, now let's talk about some changes. This is the 19 here. You'll see it has the traditional key. You'll also see this is the seven inch multimedia screen right here. So just kind of check that out. And then also look up top here. There is no place for safety connect the SOS button.
Then let's hop in the 2020. It's gonna have the same space. All right, here are some of the changes. You can see it has up above the SOS button. That's for Safety Connect. There's a call center that will actually follow you. If you're in an accident and your airbags go off, they will contact you to make sure you're okay. They will send emergency personnel after you if you're unresponsive, like maybe you were hurt or something like that, or they can track a stolen vehicle for you as well. Now, look at this multimedia system here. It's definitely changed, more buttons on the side. It's a refreshed look to it, eight inch screen, big changes. It also contains Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then you can see the push button start as well. This is not exactly apples to apples, but I'm gonna do my best here because they each have options on it. So, made in San Antonio, Texas, the 2019, of course. Great safety ratings, here's the gas mileage. Then this one has the off-road package that was added to it. You can see standard equipment on the left, planes coming. Optional equipment. And then this one here is 49,600 with pretty minimal options. Now the 2020, this one has a whole bunch of options on it. So it'll be a good example of how you can accessorize your truck. Safety ratings are not out yet. I'd expect them to continue. This one has the off-road package on it. You can see some of the new standard features like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all of the connected services. Pretty cool stuff right there. Has the moonroof that's added optionally. Has some accessories added to it, especially that wheel package. And then this car, go to Fred Anderson Toyota, is 53,100, but it's loaded up with options, like I said. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like the changes in the 2020? And subscribe right now to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. And then if you want to follow up bonus coverage, go to Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube, type in Fred Anderson Toyota, and you'll see me do a review of the 2020 Tundra Limited. So you can see that one in full detail. Let's hope that you really like it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. See you next time. Contact me if you're in the North Carolina area looking for a brand new vehicle, or if you're out of state looking for a specific vehicle, or just want to work with me and want a nice, smooth, easy process, give me a call or email me right there.